Starting off, this week saw some big tests for the future of spaceflight. After what's become an almost routine Falcon 9 satellite launch on Tuesday, on Thursday, SpaceX fired up all but two stages of the 33-stage booster rocket meant for their long-awaited Starship spacecraft in Texas. If all goes well, SpaceX says the first Starship launch could happen as early as March. Over in Hancock County, Mississippi, NASA fired up a new rocket engine they hope will power future flights to the moon. And in India, after a failed launch in August, ISRO succeeded in launching its small satellite vehicle, or SSLV, into orbit. Moving outside of Earth space, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded a massive polar vortex form around the Sun after a giant plasma filament broke off from the Sun's North Pole. This is the first time anything quite like this has been recorded, and the scientific community isn't exactly sure why. And while that's a terrifying sentence to have to say out loud, the National Center for Atmospheric Research says increased solar activity is a common feature of the 11-year solar cycle, in which the sun reaches its solar maximum before switching poles and resetting to solar minimum. The sun's projected to reach its next solar maximum in 2024. And finally, astronomers discovered a potentially habitable exoplanet, orbiting a star 31.2 light-years away in the Cygnus constellation, represented here by whatever this is supposed to be. The planet, Wolf 1069b, is just a little larger and about 25% heavier than Earth, and appears to have a rocky surface. Its presence in the so-called habitable zone of its solar system, not too hot and not too cold, suggests that there could also be liquid water on its surface and an atmosphere. But don't pack your bags yet because that's kind of where the similarities to Earth end. Wolf 1069b is tidally locked to its sun, so it doesn't have day and night like we do. One half of the planet is always day, and the other half is always night. And that, combined with being much closer to a much smaller and cooler host star, means the surface temperature could swing between negative 140 degrees Fahrenheit and about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. But still, the ingredients for alien life could be there, even if it might not be a great place to visit.